The DA was instrumental in exposing the dangers of CADA deployment from day one. We obtained and exposed to the country minutes of meetings of the ANC's CADA deployment committee. And for the first time in, in the 25 years that this practice has been going on, South Africans could see for themselves how this secret mafia-like uh, committee decided who should be appointed to positions of power. We're now at a point where almost everybody realizes how dangerous CADA deployment is. And we've reached the stage where this has been confirmed by an official judicial commission of inquiry. We have an historic opportunity here. We have the State Capture Commission that is laying out in detail how our state was captured and how an ANC CADA was behind it on every occasion. This is an opportunity that's been given to South Africa. And it's what we make of that, those reports now that are going to determine whether this is actually going to be a, a turning point. In fact, if we're going to rescue South Africa, we're going to have to clean out all institutions from Parliament to the judiciary, to the executive, to the actual public service. Corruption and state capture will not end until ANC cater deployment corruption is outlawed, declared unconstitutional and completely uprooted at national, provincial and municipal level. The solution will be to make it illegal for people who hold office in political parties to be appointed in the public service. So we have introduced into the House the NK to Deployment Bill, which is a private member's bill, which will seek to insulate the civil service from these types of arbitrary political appointments and prevent the scourge of CADA deployment from even being possible. The end CADA deployment bill seeks to criminalize this wrongful way that politicians have in influencing how government officials are appointed. The second thing we're doing is going to the North Gauteng um, High Court with an application to have CADA deployment as a tool declared unconstitutional, which will then remove it from any government's ability to be able to make political deployments into the civil service. We need to use the DA's end CADA deployment bill. And perhaps most important of all, we need to use the DA's constitutional challenge to CADA deployment as the tipping point for our country, where we declare all of us that CADA deployment is unacceptable, unconstitutional, illegal, and must never be allowed to happen again in future, regardless of which political party is in power. Even where we govern as the DA, we, we're not fighting CADA deployment because it is an ANC phenomenon. We're fighting CADA deployment because it's wrong, because it robs people of South Africa what is entitled to them. You need to be interested in how this bill will be implemented because it will change how government performs and it will change how government delivers and it is accountable to the people of South Africa. We've been living in an incapable state for so long that a lot of people have even lost the hope that there is potential to see a functioning country that actually cares, that can actually provide for them what they need, that can actually grow the economy and make sure people have jobs and they live lives of dignity. That is what a capable state will do. It's not just about the ordered outcomes. It's about a life of dignity for the people of South Africa. It is entirely possible to establish a capable state in South Africa, independent from the ruling party, able to serve all the people and ensure that the work is done and that everything works to enable a context for prosperity. It is possible to appoint capable, qualified, ethical people who are not cadres, who are interested in saving South Africa and who are interested in making sure that the interest of the country always come first than the interest of the ANC. So there is reason to hope there is reason to get involved. There is reason to think of a post-ANC future. The key is gonna be to make those changes soon enough that there is something to actually salvage.